Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to focus on a sequential list in PowerPoint, especially during a presentation. The reason this would be important is if you're going to present a list of items and would like your participants to focus on one of those items at a time, this animation will let you go through the list uh, one item at a time without having to create multiple slides. In this example, I was asked to present uh, some information on a piece of software. Um, there were seven questions that we're looking to answer during this presentation. And instead of creating seven different slides, I thought it would be best if we could engage the audience by showing them what we're just about to focus on. Uh, you may have seen this a lot uh, on television or in other learning videos. Let's take a look at how the animation works. As we click through, you'll notice that each item becomes bold. And as we switch to the next item, the previous item is no longer bold. This should make it clear to the participants of the meeting that right now we're talking about creating channels. Once we're done with that, we can start talking about private channels, then coolest apps, searching, so on and so forth. Now, I looked all over the web and I could not find a solution to this. So I spent some time in PowerPoint and I figured out how to do it and thought I'd share that with you in case you were looking for it as well. So what we'll do is start with a list. So you can use bullets, numbers, uh, anything that you'd like, as long as they have paragraph breaks in them. The next thing that we're going to do is introduce an animation. Remember, a transition will get you back and forth between different slides and animation will change individual elements within the slide. So in this case, we're going to select the paragraph block. We're going to go to our emphasis options until we find bold reveal. Now by default, you're gonna notice that this does this little typewriter effect where it's only selecting a few characters at a time. Uh, that's okay, but that's not really what we're looking for. So what we're gonna do is customize it just a little bit. So let's go to our animation, selecting here. And from here, we'll go into our effect options. There we go. Sorry, you have to click into the animation pane. It took me a minute. I thought you could right click on the one. So once you click on animation pane, then we're gonna right click on this rectangle and then go to effects options. I find it really inconsistent that the effects options here only show sequence because you'll notice when we go in here in this menu to effect options, there's actually three whole tabs. There's a lot of different things that we can choose, right? So let's start with text animation, right? This is the, the thing we wanna do first is break it down into this list. So let's break it down by first level paragraphs. So since we have the one and the A, it's gonna count those as one, right? Next thing we're gonna do timing, right? So it's gonna do each paragraph after a click. And how long do we want the effect to stay there? Well, if we wait until the end of the slide, each item will remain bold as we're clicking through the list. So why don't we just change it till until next click, that way the bold is removed each time we click through. Lastly, we wanna to go to effect and change animate text by letter, which had that weird sweeping typewriter effect and change that to all at once. And there we go. Now we can click okay. And it now has broken it down into seven separate animations. And since we did first level paragraph, it's also including the sub paragraph there. So now let's go to our presentation and take a look. So here's our list right now, as we start the slide, nothing's bold. But as we use the arrow buttons, spacebar, and mouse, and click through, each one becomes bold, and the previous one is no longer bold. So that, in just a few steps, is how you can easily animate one slide to put emphasis on each of the individual items. I hope you found this helpful.